amidst the ongoing public debate regarding the physical and mental fitness of the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tinumbu ahead of the 2023 general elections. A lot of talks, vituperations, people have said a lot. They say Bola Ahmed Tinumbu is going to end up becoming like what we have right now. Major General Mamadou Buhari retired the president of Nigeria. He has been continuously visiting the United Kingdom as regards his health. Bola Metunumbu is also preparing himself and we've seen that he's not physically well. Now, before we proceed or beginning to get, you know, kind of, um, you know, upset about this for those who are batified or for those who believe that Bola Metunumbu is not the right candidate, whoever, whatever your opinions are, let this be very clear. Anybody can be sick. H has nothing to do with your health. But does it have to do with age or fitness of the person? Every presidential candidate is supposed to go through a rigorous, prior to the election, a rigorous mental, cognitive health in general. There is supposed to be a checkup from a certified um, you know, medical practitioner or body organization. A body that cannot be corrupted or bought. This is what it's supposed to be. This is also supposed to be repeated every one or two years. Or let's say, um, before you go for your next term again, you will be checked to find out if you are physically healthy, mentally all right to go on. We are talking about president of a nation. It is very important. Until we come to that point, uh, you will find sickly people who will take over at the ends of affair and they will do and undo. Now, talking about physical health, you know, in Nigeria, in Africa, we are very spiritual. Our spirituality, or let us say we are very religious, not spiritual. We are very religious and superstition. Of course, there is some form of, um, you know, kind of esoteric knowledge. Um, some might call it traditional practices, traditional worship, etc. Now, underneath all of this, we have group of witches and wizards under the aegis of the White Witches and Wizard Association of Nigeria. Um, I didn't even know they have the white witches. What other color? Red, blue, green, black? Well, this association have waited in on the issue of Bola Metunubu's health. Speaking during an interview with the Sun newspaper in Lagos, Nigeria, the association spokesman, Dr. Okwe Oboy, described the rumors circulating around Bola Tinumbu's fitness as tissue of disused paper. Simply put, useless is of no use. Having that the purveyors of such talk were only doing so out of ignorance. They say that their association have the spiritual ability to look into people's health. They know who is sick. They know who is not sick, etc. According to them, several checks have been carried out by the association in the realm of the spirit on the actual state of the former Lagos state governor and that they saw that he's as fit as a horse. Now, Bola Metinubu said he's not going into Aso Villa to lift weights. That he's not going there to run relay. He said he's going there to exercise Abilities, skills, cognitive reasoning, intellectual abilities. He said, these are the things that he's putting out there for you. He said he's not going there to start uh, shifting chairs, um, furniture all over. So, Villa, a lot of people are talking about how he's walking and all of that. As if any of this matter. He said, none of these things matter. He said, if... No, he didn't say that. But people are saying, if he can travel to the UK for medical treatment... Is it not the same way he will travel to United Nations Summit and the rest of this? They say it's the same thing. So why are you thinking it's not? Well, answer to you, 
the white witches have said that Bola Metunu is as fit as a horse. Their statement reads us. They said, we have reviewed the fitness of APC candidate and didn't see anything fundamentally wrong with him in the spiritual realm. Tunubu is fine. He is as fit as a resource. Those spreading rumors about his illet are completely ignorant. Now, this met with uh, a lot of, um, you know, responses. People want to say one or two things as regards what the association of the white witches uh, and the leader, what uh, he is um, positing, he is saying that Bola Metunubu has been checked in the realm of the spirit. And if they can check Bola Metunubu in the realm of the spirit, I hope that um, they will be able to solve the issue of um, you know the president going back and forth if there is any help for him too because it seems uh, there is no help for him so um, they have spoken they said that uh, Bola Metunumbu is fit and that uh, you all should not speak um, ignorantly do not speak on what you do not know they say Bola Metunumbu is as good as you can ever think of and that uh, he is all right for that position. They said he can and that he will do exceedingly well. He is going to perform exceedingly well. And that uh, thinking um, otherwise is just your ignorance being played out. Now, um, the reactions of people, of course, obviously on this is going to be very, very odd. I mean, people do not want to accept um, any of this statement. And people say, there you go, witches and wizards, and maybe vampires too, are interested in who governs Nigeria. And someone said that the children of God should wake up and pray hard. Every power of darkness wanted to rule over Nigeria. They say they decree that the fire of the Almighty God himself fall upon covens and render them powerless. And we received about uh, 14 amen to that. I mean, with some with laughter anyway. Now, they say both of them are evil people, both Bola Metinumbu APC and the White Witches. They say they are very terrible people. Another one says, so Tunubu now belongs to the Association of White Witches and Wizards. Like, seriously? So this country has gotten this type of people who can look into the realm of the spirit. How come? Boko Haram and this insecurity is just all. Oh, are these people feeding you the blood that they are getting? That's what they are asking. So, me, I don't know if these people take blood or they don't take blood, but I'm just going through comments and reactions of people. They say the kingdom that fight against itself cannot stand. Witches and wizard and Boko Haram are one. This is what they said, not me. They said Boko Haram that uh, the job of Boko Haram and that of the witches and wizards are, you know. They, they, they are, their job align, their interests align. They say they operate using the same spirit. And that spirit is of the devil. That they are all collaborators in the spiritual operation in the evil that is going on in Nigeria. Ah, is this true? I want us to meet at the comment section if you have got something, you know, that is not, you know, that is not acceptable to you. Uh, whatever it is that you think is right or wrong in this. And please drop it down in the comment section. If you're just coming across this platform and you're not a member, let's build it together. It's free. Simply tap on the subscription button and the red notification icon below to alert you whenever videos are dropped.